There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. Hey, what is up all my social climate friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. How are you, Nick? I am doing great. How are you? I'm pretty good, but there's some things that I want to talk about. Ooh. So in this video, we're going to be talking about Trisha Paytas and Manny Mue, and it's a lot. The tea is real. There is a lot of tea going on yes. right now, but before we jump into that, I would like to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Adam and Eve. As you guys know, Adam and Eve has been exceptionally well to me, as well as you guys. And right now, if you use code Dustin over on adamandeve.com, you'll get 50% off one item as well as free shipping to the US and Canada. Keep in mind, some exclusions do apply. Please do remember when you shop Adam and Eve, you get 24-7 customer support, 90-day hassle-free returns, and 20% of their profit goes to fight the spread of HIV and AIDS. We love that. Also, if you guys are so inclined, please feel free to reach out and let me know the things that you guys buy with this code. It's so interesting to see some of the things you get because I end up buying them myself. Now, with all that said, let's just jump into this video. So first things first, I want to talk about Trisha Paytas a little bit because Trisha Paytas is getting back to her old ways with trolling, I think. Yes, I 100% agree. Because people are calling Trisha out because Trisha posted a video the other day titled visiting Hari Krishna temple for the first time plus temple hall and people were not really particularly yeah. happy with this because this is a lifestyle for people it's yeah. not something for people to like come in take advantage of and take what they want from it and incorporate it into yes. their lives this is a way of living for people right I saw some tweets about people saying that Trisha has now found a new community to exploit yeah uh, yes. <laughs> quite possibly so we all know that Trisha has been converting over to Judaism because Moses is Jewish right yeah. Right. And Trisha has made music videos about this. I love you, Moses. She's learned how to speak in different languages. Okay, are people finding her music videos trolling, though? Because I was seeing a lot of comments underneath her music video. I believe it was the... I, was it I, I love, love you, Moses? Moses, where they were underwater... And it was, was that the know. music video? The most recent one that she did. People were actually really impressed with the way that she's embracing the yes. language. Well, here's the thing about this. So when Trisha posted this video visiting the temple plus the temple hall, people started calling Trisha out and they were saying things like, next week I'm building a temple in my house, making fun of Trisha. There was another comment saying Trisha treating the temple as a theme park. And in some way, in some respect, I can see that. I could totally see that. Someone else said, wow, this is so offensive. Hinduism is a way of life. It's not an aesthetic for you to adopt. So Trisha really is rubbing people the wrong way. And she even went further into this and posted another video titled Harry Krishna Mantra, where Trisha does yoga. And yes. people started calling Trisha out for this. They had things to say, like, each of our personalities has separate religions and genders. Girl is really trying to offend literally everyone she can at this point. And I can totally see why someone would be saying that. I can totally see it as well. This, to me, is just another troll tactic. Someone else said, queen of being transgender, Hindi, Jewish, Christian, all at the same time while eating and mukbanging. So, I mean, Trisha is definitely, in my opinion, gearing up for the holiday season because oh, we know yes. that we get the most drama from Trisha Paytas on or around the closer we get to December because allegedly AdSense is very high in the month of December. We've seen this with Sean Vanderwilt situation with mm -hmm. Trisha. Trisha made literally probably a million dollars. A lot. That year. She made a lot. Uh, that that whole breakdown happened. And I think that Trisha is really trying her best to piss people off. Now, there was a clip that was going viral of this on TikTok where Trisha went live and people were throwing tomatoes of her. <laughs> Actually, do like, I don't know what you call this and I'm not trying to be like disrespectful or anything. I, I want to say it's like a chan or something. Yes. I'm going to play it here for you guys to see so you can kind of get what I'm trying to say uh, without me trying to explain it so you can come to your own conclusion about this. So here it is and then we'll be back with more commentary. See, I thought they were throwing the tomatoes at her because of like the positions that she was doing. No, I believe that they were fully throwing the tomatoes at Trisha and paying their own money yeah. because they were upset with her. And now I wouldn't be giving people money that I'm upset with for one. I wonder how much those tomatoes cost. I don't know, but I can't unsee this. Someone pointed out to me that Trisha's feet were dirty and oh. that she needed to wash her feet. So while Trisha's buying all this stuff in the temple, she should probably go to the dollar store down the street and buy herself a mop because her feet are dirty. <laughs> now, you know what's amazing for actually cleaning the feet in the shower those little suction cup things that have the spikes on them yeah they're good remember the one i used to have in the shower those are really good you we, get should them on Amazon. <laughs> we should send trisha they're one. really good and they feel amazing yeah no but i 
totally agree with everyone on this. I do think that Trisha is trolling. I do think that Trisha is searching for attention yes. and trying to get people to stop talking about Ethan and everything that's happened between them because this has happened for so long now. And this is just another avenue for her to do that. And I don't think that it's okay for her to do it because Trisha has offended so many different people. She's offended people of color in the past. She's offended the DID community, the mental health community. Trisha just literally knows no bounds when it comes to being offensive for attention. And I feel like that's really what she's dabbling her toes back into. And that's sad for me because I really did think that Trisha was on the straight and narrow, really working on herself and trying to get back to being a really good person when she was friends with Ethan. And it's sad to see that she's going down this avenue again. I just really hate this. Okay, but are people really interested in that Trisha Paytas with that kind of content? Or is this something that she can't get away from? Or maybe she feels like she can't get away from it I don't because know. people are going to kind of tune her out and she doesn't want to phase out. She kind of has to evolve with well, everyone else. Well, I feel else. like it's still the same song and dance with Trisha. It's shock value for views. And yeah. I don't think that that's necessarily the best attention for someone like Trisha. Yeah. I don't think she has to do it anymore. I don't think she has to do it anymore either, but she's still continuing it. And I don't think it's working for her because her views are not at all what they used to be. Well, everyone's though. That That's true. That's Everyone's true. are done. But you guys, please let me know your thoughts about that down below. Now I want to talk about Manny MUA. Now you guys, I do know that Manny's going through a hard time. This is in no way me trying to get at him. This is just news that's being reported by me that I've seen on social media. So I'm going to talk about it. Now, Manny just released this palette and people are not happy with it. They're saying that the shade range is lackluster, that Manny could do many different things, but this was really not his best work. And uh, Manny got really upset with people on Twitter and there was a few people that were showing me that Manny blocked them yeah. and that he responded to them. And that's not really a way to take criticism, especially when you're a brand owner and you're the face of your own brand. Well, I saw that he tried to tweet back other examples of people's bronzer palettes. I think yeah. Kat Von D Beauty was in there. Mm -hmm. I want to say one was Tarte. That's probably not what it was, but he tried to put examples out there and said that theirs are this many pans. His is this many pans. So he thinks that he's automatically like doing better. Yeah. That's just paraphrasing. It's not exactly what he he said. I don't really think that that's the way that he should have went about doing this at all. Like, I think that this was bad and he probably should have found another way to address this opposed to being combative with people about a product that he's offering them to buy. You know what I mean? Yeah. But people started chiming in on Manny on Twitter and had the following to say. They said, as a makeup artist and hairstylist, I cannot use this palette on my clients. This isn't nearly enough tone difference in those shades. I hate it when brands offer two to three shades of darker white as their POC shades. I'll stick with mixing my own MAC pots. Someone else said, as a makeup artist myself, I could not use this palette. It has nothing for my cool toned, warm toned clientele. It also lacks the shades for my POC and lighter clientele. I would not want this in my kit. Someone else replied to a thread that I couldn't see anymore, but they made a really good point. They said, there's only two shades for darker skin tones. Don't speak for us. Thanks. And here's my personal favorite. Someone said, where's the rest of it? Now, Manny <laughs> did get on Instagram today and actually address this. Yes. So I'm going to play that here for you guys so you can see what Manny had to say about all this, and then I'll be back with more commentary. Hey, you guys. So I just want to jump on here really quickly and talk about my Outer Dimension face palette. And... I just wanted to say that I'm seeing some concerns about whether or not people think that it would hit deeper complexions and that it's not going to fit deeper complexions. Um, and I want you guys to know that I'm seeing the comments. I'm absorbing the information. Like your feelings are completely valid. They really are. Honestly, I was getting a little bit defensive. I was being kind of a bitch about it, to be quite honest, because when you work really hard on something, when it's your own line and you feel like you did a good job. It's so hard to hear people being like, it's not good enough when it's like, but I worked two years on this, you know, and you start to like get into your own head about it. You, you know, think back and you're like, but I was trying my best to be inclusive as possible with one palette, you know, and I understand if that's not enough. I do. And I'm hearing you and I apologize for being defensive about it because I have been, I've responded and I've been kind of a bitch. I'm not going to lie because it just sucks to hear when you actually thought you were doing the right thing and it turns out, you know, that you could have done more and that it wasn't enough for some people. So I understand I am listening, I'm absorbing and I always, I want my brand to be the best it can be. Like I would never just know like genuinely that I would never purposefully leave anyone out of my brand doesn't matter the complexion from the lightest to the deepest like i would never purposefully do that i always try to be as inclusive as i possibly can and 
that's what I want to continue with and move forward with. You know what I mean? So I'm working on it, you guys. I understand. I appreciate your guys' concern and letting me know. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to just talk about that really quickly because just know that I'm not ignoring it. Yesterday was a really hard day for me. I don't even want to talk about it right now. Um, I just need to stay busy, to be quite honest. I just need to be busy. So I appreciate you guys' concern. Let me just say that. So we all know it's a tale old as time. Like all these makeup brands know from the history of making makeup that they need to be inclusive. We've seen mm-hmm. Jaclyn Hill get dragged for this. I believe Jeffree Star has gotten dragged for this. Numerous different OGs in the beauty community have been dragged for not being inclusive with their shade range. Now, I know that Manny said that he did everything possible, but did he really? I'm not saying that to try to get in on Manny. I just, I know that Manny is an indie brand. And I think that if you can't be inclusive and actually include everyone in the makeup launch that you're putting out, that you shouldn't do it at all. I feel like you should build up other products. And then when you are able to put something out to include everyone, then you should come out with that product. Yeah. Like why was a bronzer it needed right this second for yeah Manny's i don't really line. know i mean it to me it's kind of off okay so it's a contour palette not right. a bronzer palette yeah whoopsie poopsie but i feel like there are smaller indie brands out there as well because i know manny explained in his video that when you have more skews it costs more money yes. so that's why this is not coming in single shades right now mm-hmm. but there's brands out there that don't have backing that don't have the sales success that manny does mm-hmm. and they have like 24 different bronzers out there yeah they're small all brands or that actually have like a whole ton, a whole range of different things that go from white, white to deep and dark. Isn't bronzer and like contour the same? I, girl, I don't know. I don't know the first thing. I wake up, I'm called? here to report the news. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> but a lot of people are upset and I understand why they are. But I also understand, I'm, I'm trying to understand Manny's point of view, but I just don't think as a business owner, if you can't include everyone in a launch, mm-hmm. you really shouldn't push forward because like I've said before, other people have been dragged over the same exact exact situation you know what i mean yeah. if you can't be inclusive why are you even putting out a product and i realized rihanna yeah. did pretty much set the standard for that Very because she high. has so many different shade ranges but i have to say with if we're going to use rihanna as an example we cannot expect a company like manny's right no to i agree be on the same level with being able to have that much volume and that much product come out i know so i I don't know. I, I get both sides of it, but at the end of the day, I do feel like if people feel left out, and clearly they do yes. by people speaking up on Twitter and saying that they feel like their their shade's not in yes. there, then Manny could have worked harder on this. But I also get on the back side of that that Manny is a smaller brand and mm-hmm. that he did put two years of work into this. So I understand why he would be upset with people, but I don't think that him responding to people the way that he did by blocking them and things like that was necessarily the best way to go about it. And I, I do understand the argument, though of popping off back at people because this is something that he did put time into. Yeah. It's his project. It's his baby. So I totally understand that reaction. Mm-hmm. It's just unfortunate that it happened. But I believe way. Manny has called people out about shade ranges in the past. Yes. So, I mean, he's very familiar with this type of thing and he knows that he should have been inclusive. I just don't know where he could have found a happy medium with his brand where he could have done that because obviously I don't formulate makeup. But I think, I, that, mean, I think that he could have thought it out just a little bit better. But I mean, this could just be a small bump in the road for Manny and maybe next time that he comes out with a complexion type of product he w- he'll nail it so yeah, i mean we I can't count so. him out now but you guys please let me know your thoughts and opinions on all this down below if you are so inclined please don't forget to go over to adamandeve.com and use code dustin for 50 percent off one item as well as free shipping to the u.s and canada because you know the holidays are quickly approaching and if you've made it this far leave me a lollipop in the comments down below to let me know that you've reached the end of this video but aside from all of that i hope you all have an amazing day and i'll see you all in my next video bye bye guys